fish today from our fish store to actually you know get them out of here so that way nobody else gets them and puts them in a little bitty tank just like I did with a big alligator guard. But this time it is a big old channel catfish. This guy's about 12, 14 inches or so and uh, he's gotten pretty aggressive. Somebody brought him and a big old Oscar back today and he was pounding the freaking Oscar. So uh, we had to actually move him over here into a different tank. But I'm gonna be getting this guy today and uh, we're gonna give him a pretty dang good home because he's got some pretty big channel cats in, in the pond that he's gonna be going into as well. So, you know, it's pretty crazy. People get them this size right here, just like that. There's some albino ones in here too. And then about six, eight months later, they bring them back and they're that big. Freaking crazy. So we're gonna give that guy a pretty good home today. Back now with the catfish, and I mean, check this sucker out. You know, if I was to catch this guy in my pond, I would say, dang, that's a baby catfish. I mean, honestly, he still is considered a baby because you see those spots on him? That's something that baby channel catfish have, or well, juvenile channel catfish. And uh, if he didn't have those spots, well, he'd, he would be, be considered more of a mature catfish. But you know, in a tank, this guy looks really, really big. But uh, in my pond, well, this is really more or less a baby catfish. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy on down here to my pond, and uh, we're gonna give him a pretty nice home with a bunch of other little channel cat friends in there for him. There's some big ones in here, like seven, eight pounders, which is like three times the size of this guy. Just gonna set him right down there and let him acclimate for a couple minutes, just like we did when we got the alligator guard a couple weeks ago. And speaking of him, um, I see him out here quite often. As I mentioned before, he kind of hangs around this shallow area of the pond out here with all the other little bluegill and bass. And um, I come down here, you know, once a day or so, and he's usually out here. He's usually swimming around out here, and he's actually went after a couple artificials that have been thrown out here as well. So he's he's eating. He's a pretty aggressive fish anyways, but he is for sure out here, because like I said, I've done spotted him several times. So while the channel catfish acclimates, I've got 40 rosy red minnows right here that we're gonna feed to the exotic pond. And you guys know that I caught a little bitty largemouth bass a couple days ago earlier this week for this pond and he's been doing really really good in here he comes out a lot of times early in the morning for the most part though he stays up underneath the driftwood but he hasn't been aggressive at all towards the oscar or the gar and everybody's getting along so that is really really good i'm hoping that these minnows right here will be the first step as far as getting him used to me because you know now that he sees me putting food in here now he'll hopefully start to get a little bit more used to me and eventually we'll start working his way out of the driftwood and you know coming up to me like the Oscar and the guard do but check this out I put this little bitty purple LED light on top of the filter and it looks really really cool at night it makes a really really cool effect kind of on the output water going back into the pond and uh, I think it just it just looks really really cool just another cool thing that I added to the pond but anyway anyways the Oscar you can see him down there ready for some food and the gar is uh he's, he's somewhere in here i don't know where but he's somewhere but i'm gonna feed just about most of all these to the pond and uh let's see if the bass comes out and gets any all right boys here we go i got the gopro right here let's see what happens oh bass came out bass came out oh my gosh he's out he's out he's out he's out oh my gosh the bass came out you can see just how much this driftwood is just covered in algae the pleco has done a pretty good job of keeping it off the sides of the pond but i mean it is just taped onto this piece of driftwood just absolutely crazy. I mean, the gar is literally hidden up in the algae. Unfortunately, I think I kind of freaked out the gar and the Oscar with the GoPro, but anyways, I've got the rest of the rosy reds right here that I'm gonna feed to the soft shell turtles. The bigger one's right down there in the sand, and he's definitely gonna come out and eat a couple of them, but uh, the other one is up there on the basket area, and I don't think he's gonna eat any, but uh, this guy's about, about to put on an absolute show. All right, here we go. There they go. Oh, here he comes. It's like the dinner bell ringing. I already got one. I already got one, look at that. And he's going to take off with him here in a second. Maybe not. Yep, there he goes. Oh, 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 he got one. Went out of focus, though. He got it. Look at that. Look at that guy. Look at him. Oh, he just got another one. He is on fire. Usually, they get away from him pretty easily, but he just got another one. Three of them in a row. Gone. Look at that. About to get another one. Look at this. Absolutely crazy. Oh, 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 oh. Did he get one? He just got another one. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. He's going for his fifth. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh boy. Oh. Got it. He got it. <laughs> Look at that. Just absolutely crazy. He's definitely not going to be able to eat all these. He's going to try to, but he's not. So hopefully when that guy gets down from there, he'll still have a few to eat himself. Well, it has started to rain, so I'm going to go ahead and get this catfish in the pond before it starts pouring down. All right, boys and girls, here he is right here. He looks so tiny out of the water, but looks so big in the tank. But let this right here be a lesson that if you're going to get one of these little bitty baby 
cute little channel cats at a fish store just know how they how big they get they get way bigger than this there's some in this pond behind me five times the size all right i promise you this is a baby channel cat but they get way way bigger than this so if you're going to get one of those cute little baby channel cats at your local fish store just know how big they get because they can ransack a tank and uh really mess up some fish too all right let's get them in the water all right little buddy here we go oh and he's off there he goes and in a couple years, that guy is going to be a giant out here in the pond. Now, unfortunately, unlike the alligator gar, I probably won't be seeing that catfish all that much. And if I do, I probably won't know that it's him because, like I said, there's a bunch of other ones in the pond. And, well, they stay at the bottom for the most part anyways. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you guys did, please be sure to give it a like down below and also hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. And I will catch all of you guys in the next video in Pensacola Beach, Florida. See ya.